If you guys want now now bahut ho gaya activities and startups uh, 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 uh. if you guys want us to why is smiling so much <laughs> <laughs> hey guys how are you long time no see what they are already here they were always here we were not so guys welcome to another great episode of canadian parande well this time we are coming with something really special and that's why we were waiting how to start your business in canada something that you have been asking us from a long time so when we started our business we did lot of research did lot of brainstorming together and what really helped us talking to people who are already running some kind of their business their inputs were very valuable we get to learn from their mistake and that really helped us a lot let's get started. Started. See you after this music. Now we record number of immigration every year and demand for innovative solutions. There is no best time to start a business in Canada than now. And that is the reason why Canadian government itself gives lot of easier options. to business owners and investors to migrate to canada now a business can be of any type it can be as creative as opening your own baby massage service or it can be like hiring someone for making your homemade breakfast every day or on a serious note it can be as big as operating your own gas station or opening the franchise if you have already run a business in your home country you probably already know the steps but Do you know running a business in Canada could be quite different? Well, each province in Canada has a different requirement for running the business. It's not just about renting and start selling unless you are doing that on Amazon. So the step number 1 is to look for what kind of business you want to run. Whether you want to start a jabardast idea or maybe you want to start a tried and tested business so regardless whatever business you decide to start it definitely involve your innovation your financial needs your personal commitment to that business and nonetheless the government requirement so make sure you have a solid business idea now if you are unclear about your business idea the best way is to go and work for that business say for example if you want to start your own bakery you can work for an existing bakery and if it is an unpaid go volunteer the idea is to work with people under same industry so the step number 2 is to find out how much commitment you are willing to give to your business anyone mostly start with having a job in canada right so are you a person who is willing to come out of your comfort zone leave your job and give 100% toward your business jaan laga deni hai business success karke dikhana hai aur Do you rather want to have your job and do something on the weekends or you know part time toward the business just to try and see success hoti hai nahi hoti hai so in a nutshell it helps you to find out how much time actually going to spend for the business and how much risk are you going to take for this now we know someone who left his full time project management job and started his own nutrition store because he don't want it any distraction whereas we also talk to people who started things part time and now going well so decide your commitment this to aaj tak kare bhi hasi nahi laati wo so i feel like in our upcoming episodes we are also going to bring on actual business owner people who are running a business here so they can share their stories and their secrets to keep you motivated and keep your confidence up boost we already have a huge list of people who have signed up for this so if you are interested or you know someone who is very much interested in talking about their story on our channel let us know in comment below and reach out to us step number 3 my friend is actually to peek into your saving account and find do you have enough money to start the business or you may need to borrow it kyunki mere dost even million dollar idea need some lincoln gandhi or queen in canada in the form of paper we started our business we also used our saving that we have accumulated over the time of one year so by initial calculation of your expenses you must be having an idea about how much money you will be needing 
to start a business. To say hypothetically, if you need fifty thousand to run a business, right, and you have one lakh fifty thousand dollar already sitting in your saving account, well. You're good to go here. If in case you don't have enough money to start up a business, what could be your best bet for borrowing that money? You can apply for a personal loan or credit from your bank up to one hundred thousand dollar for like three to five percent. You can also apply grants and loans for small business owners by Canadian federal government. We have provided a link in the description box below for you to look at. Well, my friend, if you have any questions or you want to talk to us, you know, you feel like talking to a friend. Have your appointment book on our to Google Meet. We'll be happy to be there with you. Link is in the description box below. Now, enough with the loans. Would you rather want someone to invest in your business or give money for you to work on that product? Well, lot of Canadian cities have support and communities built for. new startups if you guys want us to make a detailed video on this like which canadian cities support these kind of programs and offer you incentives like this let us know we can make a video for that for people who are new to our channel let us introduce ourselves quickly i'm rachi and i'm deepak tada and we have one crazy member in our family arshya who is actually going to turn 3 very soon 3 Three years of experience having this wonderful product. We make videos to educate others on home buying process, investment in real estate in Canada to make life easier for the new immigrants or any of the first time home buyers. We do a lot of other crazy stuff as well. So follow us on Instagram to know us behind this full screen. So if you like this content or want to see something more like that, consider subscribing to our channel. Please. You won't regret it. Yeah, I said the mom moment. So what's next? Yes, the next important thing is whether you want to go local or global. Say you want to start a clothing business. You are a designer. First option is you can start this business by renting a place somewhere in a community and making a workshop there and start selling. Have your physical presence in that community. Or second option is you can have a workshop in your basement in your house. you can start designing there and instead of selling on a shop you can start selling on internet so this way you will save money on renting save money everywhere <laughs> hold on the next thing you want to make a decision of whether you want to run a business as a sole proprietorship or under the incorporation well most of the freelancing people do here is under the sole proprietorship which is way more simple no registration required and you can actually start your business from anywhere this can be a great option for people like teachers it professionals who don't care about the brand name But if you want to open a cafe or a restaurant that requires a brand name, something that people will remember me, not me, something that people will remember. Say Deepak the Dhaba or Richie Hortons, something like that. Then you need incorporate. Now with incorporation, every province has its own requirements. Say for example, if you want to check what are the incorporation requirement in Ontario, you can go to this website and you can figure out all the formalities you needed. On top of that there is an option whether you want to go provincial incorporation or federal incorporation there are benefits and disadvantages of both that's a topic for next video step number 6 is, is to obtain your license and permits most of these licenses and permits you can obtain from your local municipality Well legally in Canada you cannot run a business without them. So say for example if you want to open a restaurant in Montreal the licenses will be different for one in Vancouver. The best way to figure out what are the permits and licenses you require the best is go through this BizPal website. Punch in your municipality, punch in what type of business you want to start and you will get a lot of details. So other than these two you need to buy some kind of insurance for your business just like you do for your home insurance right? Now you might be asking why to need a business insurance when you are running your business from restaurant or from home. Well my friend, if somebody falls sick by eating food that you are making, they can actually sue you up to $50,000. Who's going to protect you? It's going to be insurance who could be your best friend in that hour of need. Now you have obtained all the licenses and permits and you have insured your business. It's time to actually put things in reality. Now you need to find a location where your business will run. 
So here, let's go back to the step where you are deciding if you want to serve your local or online people, right? So if you have decided to actually have the office or your location physically present in any of a city, you have to first decide the city you want to target on. Most of the people, they prefer to have their business in the same city where they are living, making their life easy. But sometimes it is profitable to open a business in a city little further away, like an hour away. For example, we know people who live in Brampton had opened an Indian restaurant in Cambridge because there was a lot of demand. Well, things have now changed. There's new Indian restaurant opening every other month. But having a business in any of the small cities help you with more incentive, more support for that new business versus well-established bigger cities like Brampton, Toronto, Vancouver. After you finalize the location, you move in, you have your things all set up. Now you may need help. We know that everyone who started their business hired someone for something. Obviously, it costs you some money to pay that person. But believe me, there are incentives for that. You will get more time to expand the business. And on top of that, a lot of cities offer incentives when you employ people from those cities. Well, of course, with hiring, there will be more complications like you have to maintain the payroll, you have to manage the taxes. But there are a lot of good payroll management systems that you can use that will make your life much easier. So this actually brings us to our next step, services and technology. Well, apart from some billing, you would also need to have security for your premises, needing some security system, billing and cash management system for your daily transactions, inventory management system to help out maintain your inventory, and don't forget and reliable internet services. Now my friend, you have done all the hard work. Now it's time to tell people that your business exists. मैं भी इस मैदान में उतर गया हूं मुझसे सामान खरीदो एंड यू डू दैट बाय मार्केटिंग योर बिजनेस नाउ व्हाट वर्क्स बेस्ट फॉर बिजनेस दीस डेज ऑनलाइन मार्केटिंग लाइक एवरीवेयर कैनेडियंस आल्सो बाय प्रोडक्ट्स एंड सर्विसेज बेस्ड ऑन रिव्यूज नाउ इट कैन बी अ गूगल रिव्यू कैन बी अ फेसबुक रिव्यू you need to have your online presence there so you can be little creative and promote your business on instagram tiktok if you're having the restaurant you can have a video of your chef making a food post it out there if you have a in house clothing store make a video or sell it online well based upon the type of business you want to start you need to have at least two great platform for the marketing in addition to online marketing you may also need to spend money on offline moves like putting up a huge billboard in a roadside telling you know with your picture on that saying you know this business exists here please come in or you may also need to post an ad like a graphic ad on a local newspaper we have found so many creative ways people have used in canada around us to promote their business and that worked really well for them and that's a topic for a separate video now now you must have heard that most of the startups fail during their first two years But do you know that 68% of the startups actually survive for 5 years and 45% actually survive for 10 years. That's not bad, right? So my friend, the truth is starting a business is always a daunting process. Something similar to starting a new phase of your life, right? So at some point you will never know if you're going to be succeed or not unless you overcome your fear and pull the trigger but remember you have came to canada if you can do that big transition you can make a successful business too this is what we have in this video for you guys till we meet next time with an another great video guys please take care of yourself keep smiling and please be safe wherever you are